These men stole millions of dollars of gold off a train and rode into the night, never to be found again. This is the story of the great gold robbery of 1855. Picture this. It's December. The air is chilly and London Bridge Railway Station is buzzing with people coming and going. But hidden beneath all the hustle and bustle lies a secret network of tunnels. And what's in these tunnels, you ask? Well, let me tell you, my friends, it's a train carriage filled with 10,000 pounds sterling of pure gold. Can you believe it? I mean, talk about hitting the jackpot. Now, let me introduce you to the mastermind behind this caper, Edward Agar, a name that probably doesn't ring a bell. This guy had it all figured out. He and his gang had infiltrated the railway company, blending in like chameleons. They were like undercover agents waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And strike they did. In the dead of night, with the city asleep and dreaming of tea and crumpets, Agar and his crew went to work. Dressed in their dark coats and hats pulled low, they crept through the tunnels like characters in a Dickens novel. It was all cinematic, I tell ya. Now, let's get to the good part, the heist itself. These guys were like magicians, pulling off the greatest disappearing act of all time. They disabled locks, they messed with bolts, and made their way to the mother load of gold. And you know what they did? They lifted those heavy boxes. They strained their muscles like Olympic weightlifters. It must have been like playing Goldfinger in real life. ka -ching. But the real question is, how did they get away? Well, my friends, they hopped onto horse-drawn carriages, like something out of a western, with the horses neighing and the sound of hooves hitting the cobblestones, they made their grand escape. The streets of London were their getaway driver. As they vanished into the night, gold stashed away in secret compartments. Now, the news of this audacious heist spread like wildfire. Everyone in London was talking about it. You couldn't walk down the street without hear people whispering about those crafty thieves. But here's the kicker. Despite all the efforts of Scotland Yard, those guys disappeared into thin air. They were like Houdini, gone without a trace. The city was left scratching its head, wondering how these criminals pulled off the perfect magic trick. Now, the fate of the thieves of the great goal robbery, the burning question in everyone's minds. Well, my friends, despite the tireless efforts of Scotland Yard and their finest detectives, the elusive thieves were never caught. That's right. They vanished into thin air, leaving behind a trail of mystery and intrigue. It's like they were master escape artists, or at least had a direct line to Hogwarts' invisibility cloak. It's still a head scratcher for investigators and armchair detectives alike. You see, the gang had covered their tracks so well that even the most skilled sleuths couldn't find a shred of evidence. The city's underbelly usually a well of information, remained strangely silent. The thieves had pulled off the ultimate disappearing act, leaving London in awe and law enforcement scratching their heads. Now, there are countless theories about what happened to the stolen gold and the gang behind the heist. Some say they fled to far off lands, living out their days as wealthy fugitives, sipping Mai Tais on a tropical beach while others claim they hid the gold in secret locations, waiting for the heat to die down before retrieving it. And of course, there are those that believe the thieves may met a not so happy ending, their greed leading to their demise. But the truth is my friends, no one knows for sure. The great gold robbery remains unsolved and a mystery, a tantalizing tale of the heist that slips through the fingers of justice. And as the years roll on, 
the chances of discovering the truth grow slimmer, especially when we think about it about 150 years later. So there you have it, the thieves from the great gold robbery managed to outsmart the law and vanish into the shadows, leaving behind a legacy of audacity and intrigue. It's a reminder that sometimes in this vast and unpredictable world, even the most determined investigators can't crack the case. The thieves slipped away, leaving us with an enduring mystery that keeps the story alive even to this day. Who knows, maybe one day a dusty old trunk will be discovered in an attic, filled to the brim with gold bars, revealing the truth behind the great gold robbery. So what's the deal with the gold anyway? It's shiny, it's heavy, and apparently it drives people to pull off crazy stunts. I mean, who needs all that bling? Maybe I should just stick to YouTube. It's a lot lighter and nobody wants to steal it. Well, at least I hope. Hopefully you enjoyed listening to this tall tale about a real robbery and the thieves that happened to fool the detectives and the rest of Greater London. If you did, please consider going down there and hitting that subscribe button and also smashing that like button. If there is a high story mystery you would like me to cover, drop it in the comments below. I would love to do some research and write something up for you. As always, stay safe.